Hey guys, well, I got COVID right before Thanksgiving. So I've been living down here, not really a dungeon, but I am itching to get out. I think I've watched every YouTube channel there is. Um, so just living down here. So I think I'm gonna take off and go to the bus and uh, see if I can figure out the battery, play with it for an hour or so. Um, getting ready to kind of lay out and plan out my uh, solar panels. They should be coming in about a month. So just going over the wattages. Um, if you haven't followed along, I've got <clears throat> 630 watt, two uh, 80 watt, and two 240 watt panels. I'm gonna stick up on the top of the bus. They're SIGS solar panels. They're not the uh, cheap ones. Um, and then I've got three solar controllers and also I've got three 5100 kilowatt hour batteries. So I'm gonna uh, drive on out there. Um, my uh, twin brother's son is gonna play state championship game, football game at Lucas Oil Stadium tonight and uh, everybody took off. I stayed here because I still tested positive. Um, game's not for another four hours and uh, I gotta get out of here. So I'm gonna go to the bus and uh, play around with it for a little bit, make a video and shoot it out because um, I don't have anything else to do. All right, we are leaving. It's the first time I've been outside since, I don't know when, Tuesday? Feels pretty nice. So next stop, storage unit. All right, I am here. So I had actually uh, tried this out a couple days ago and was hoping I had this battery charged uh, 100% and uh, it only went to 75%. I have my settings off a little bit, so I was wanting to hook um, these two batteries up. So big picture, what I'm trying to do is I've got my two Victron inverters here and they have large capacitors inside and the negatives of these come over to my Lynx distributor and the positive comes over to the battery and then the Lynx distributor comes to the negative over here. So basically in between positive I have some large fuses up here. Um, so that's really my only disconnect in between my battery positive and my inverters is those fuses up there. And basically if you were to take the positive from the battery and touch it to the positive of the uh, inverter, it would arc like a welder. And so what you've got to do is pre-charge that resistor, charge it up, and then you connect it. So that's what you have to do 100% of the time. What these battery manufacturers are trying to do, these lithium ones, are trying to make it so they do it automatically. And then so what that does for me is in the winter time, I can just come in here, turn this off, not have to worry about keeping anything charged. Cause it, I think they'll set for like 15 years by themselves. So I can just come in here, turn these batteries off, turn the whole, whole coach off and it's done. I don't care except for my chassis batteries, but that's another story. So, what they told me to do, because it wouldn't work, and a viewer, so thank you guys for the comments, they said turn this on first, and then um, actually Signature Solar, they told me it'd take three or four times and it'd finally start it. And so that's what I'm gonna demonstrate for you here. Um, I did get it to work, it's working right now, but I was gonna shut it off and uh, show you guys. So if you can see, the capacitors 
in what I did was I just turned the battery off. I don't, for some reason I turned the camera off. Um, you can see the uh, capacitor voltage going down. So it's at um, five volts right now. I'm gonna go ahead and let it go to zero and I'll show you what happens um, typically when you turn it on. So now it's going to 4.6. What I might do is turn turn my 12 volt on. That'll probably suck everything down. It doesn't seem to have really changed anything. I don't have any loads is my problem. Um, that switch is my 12 volt load and so what it does, I have a 24 to 12 transformer. It comes over here and then it it runs my bus. But I am down to <clears throat> 3 volts and you can see it going down. So what I want to do is turn this on and then I'm going to turn the battery on and you can see it it tried to go and um, it says protection. So I'm going to turn this off and turn it back on. And it went to 19 and it turned off. So I'm going to turn it off, turn it back on, and it went to 21. I'm going to turn it off, turn it back on. Went to 18. Seems like it goes down even quicker. Now it won't do it. Um, went to 21 that time. See if I can do it here before it drops too low. So it goes. You can see the voltage going back down. So I'll try to do it here real quick. There it went. <clears throat> so I did it quick enough and it uh, pre-charged it there. Kind of a pain in the butt. Um, but you can see discharging. So if I just have one of these inverters hooked up, I just turn it on and it, it pre-charges and works fine. But doing both at the same time, it takes a little bit to uh, get the voltage to come back up. So that's kind of what I was wanting to show you. Um, the other thing that I'm working on here is getting this battery <clears throat> charged um, because these are 98, 99% and this is only 76 percent so what i was wanting to do is i want to bring this voltage up in the capacity up to the same and then i want to wire these back in right now i don't i don't have them hooked up because the voltage isn't the same so what i'm going to do i think at the uh, current that it's charging it's going to take eight hours so i'll come back in the morning and um Hopefully these voltages are the same. I'll shut everything down and uh, um, do it again. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, throw this video out. Um, I don't have any videos out there right now. The other thing too is um, they also told me that if I connect a cable from the can into the servo, and they gave me the pin outs, um, that this battery will talk to the Victron Servo. So I think um, I've got my cables here. I think tonight what I'm going to do is try to grab one of those cat cables and then um, redo the pins in them. And uh, when I come back tomorrow, uh, see if I can get that to work. So... Um, I don't know if you guys enjoyed the video or not. Hit like or subscribe. Um, tune in uh, tomorrow and see if I get it to work. Thanks for watching.